continuance. This is the first continuance that's being requested by the council. All the other continuances have been requested by the applicant. Okay? So the council has never asked for a continuance before. Secondly, this is the point in time to discuss this because they both want to invest in medical facilities in our, our city. If you don't discuss it now, additional investment may not occur. Second, this letter of intent business has no place in this discussion in my view. What the parties do among themselves has no merit as far as what the reality of the situation is. And the reality is we are supposed to be adjudicating on the comprehensive plan and the medical needs of our city as a whole. This is not a contest between Burger King and McDonald's and who sells the Whopper for less than the Big Mac. This is our citizens' lives. This is diagnostic needs. These are things that we cannot, other than through conditional use permits, try our best to make sure all of our citizens have great access. I hate to say this, but I'm sitting up here and I'm white. I'm not African American. I am someone who is fortunate that I have the resources to live in Greenbrier, but that doesn't mean that I have any less of a responsibility than to take my election seriously for all the citizens of Chesapeake. And I'm also greatly involved in mergers and acquisitions, and I can tell you, you cannot do something like this in a week. It's impossible, okay? Because you've got lawyers on all the sides. So that's why 60 days, to come to some type of framework. We're going forward, Centera and Chesapeake Regional, anybody else can invest in our community so the medical services are available for all. I'll give you a very real example. My father-in-law is 94. He had to be transported, he's in pretty good shape, but he had to be transported from Great Bridge to Great Neck, $800. For that public for that transport if you live in our areas of the city indian river deep creek south norfolk and you want to go to a facility like this there's no bus transportation there may not be choices and our role as a city is not to regulate businesses but this is not businesses these are usually done certificate of public needs this is done for community safety and for the betterment of our citizens as a whole. So the argument of Burger King versus McDonald's and equal competition for all and free market enterprise doesn't play when hospitals have to take, Centera as well as Chesapeake Regional, have to take indigent, indigent uh, patients and absorb all the costs. But we as a city can be sure that when we adjudicate conditional use permits, and that's why it's here, that we do it fairly, evenly, and where the greatest needs are, and I'll go back, increased diagnostic access, that's what this is about. And I see no evidence of that for the citizens who need it the most. That's why the 60 days, I appreciate it.